Okay, we're going to have a look at infantry versus infantry battle. As you see now, I'm trying to take this capital with my 35 units in battle with his 5. Uh, and I got another 37 more coming. But if I just let them go into this city, it will be 35 plus 37, 72 infantry. And as you might know, everything above 50 does no extra damage, really. So I would like to instead use these two as two different uh, army troops uh, to attack from each side. And how do I do that? Well, I can't just let them go in there because they will join. So there's a smart move. I can take these 37 guys and aim them for somewhere else through this city and just go out, say here, it doesn't matter really. Now, when these 37 join these guys, it will be two separate armies to attack from separate ways. And I will have 37 army battle and 35 army battle versus five. So that's going to multiply my strength a lot compared to just letting them join. And as you see here, I got another 48 guys coming. Maybe I will take the city before they come anyway, but why not? Let's do the same here. Take this 48 and aim them to there, I think. Now, when they arrive, if there's still any resistance left, I will attack from three different armies with 45, 35, 48, and 37 in total in three different strengths. And these five guys doesn't have a chance. And if I do this right, I will manage to get this capital before the end of the next day or for the new day coming, which is in two hours and 55 minutes. So let's uh, fast forward into this... Uh, this battle and see what happens when the 37 guys arrive. Okay, now we jumped up another 30 minutes or so. My 37 guys are closing in here, as you see. Uh, this is the travel time up to here, so I don't know exactly how far it is, but you can see it's, it's very, very close. Probably a couple of minutes at the most. And we will just see how it ends up. But if my calculations are right, these will be two separate armies fighting these five guys. And if I'm lucky, I might even uh, kill him right away with his first hit. But I don't think so. He's still got like 87.5 hit points there. So I'm not going to take that in one strike. But also with two different armies, it's also two, two hits per hour. So this is going to hit now, and then this one is going to hit the next attack in uh, 14 minutes. So it might be all over in 14 minutes, actually. Maybe this one takes down two or three guys, and then the next one finishes the job. Uh, the 48 guys I have here coming in, it's yeah probably not going to do any use, because it's, he's going to be dead by then. But... But still, it's it's the basic principles we're looking at. Uh, so let's just keep on rolling that one. Uh, okay, can't be very, can't be a lot of time left now. Only a matter of seconds before this guy ends up there. So what you're gonna see here, and while I'm waiting for this, I'm I'm bombarding this guy here. I'm just trying to make him clear out this island. This is an AI country, by the way. Uh, so when I bombard, he's just leaving his island automatically. And then I got 10, ten guys coming from the other side to just clear this up. Uh, so I'm going to change this one to attack the two guys here. So let's, do, let's get them to meet also. Oh, OK, here it comes. So now I hit 36 left. So I only lost one guy, and this, he lost nine in total but now four so and you see these are two different armies now fighting this one guy and it's a lot more effective this way than to get these two into one army to fight so now he's going to be dead he's only got 4.7 hit points left this is uh, 12 minutes to the next hit i'm going to take this capital in 12 minutes and it's plenty of time before new day if I done it the other way and just stack all my infantry into one force, maybe I couldn't have done it before the next day. I don't know. But this one is a lot more effective. 
and it's also losing less infantry for myself so we're not going to wait another 12 minutes it's obvious i'm going to take it so i'm going to stop the video here and uh, say thank you for this time